What's up guys, it's Shana and today we are at By Waters Setia Alam. Let's go! We are back in Setia Alam again and this is a very good comparison since we just visited the Strata Fight landed project. Today this one is an individual titled project which is everyone's favourite. This is in U13 which is one of the inner sites of Sertia Alam and today will be a collaboration with an audience. He just got his keys so let's go check it out. This will be the unit that we're going to check out today. This is a terrace house, double storey, freehold, 2135 square feet and there will be four bedrooms. The entire dimension will be 22 feet by 70. And when you drive into the car porch straight away, when you go in, this will be your living and dining. Then you'll be a staircase here. This becomes rather interesting because this is the new layout, right? So you have the kitchen tucked next to the guest room, or if you have elderly, then that will be their room. And there's a nice nook here for the extra table. Going in, there will be a dedicated yard, and you still have some space. Then going upstairs, there will be a void in the center connecting to your family space and you will have one, two, three bedroom upstairs all with their ensuite bathrooms, that's cool and this principal bedroom is going to look amazing just that I'm concerned about this nook here but looking at the windows, it's pretty nice Now we are right in front of the property and this will be 22 and the depth will be 70 So there will be cement screenings here, broom to finish where they literally take the broom and create all these patterns connecting to your tiles at the car porch area This will be the refuse area and the meter area along with the doorbell and the mail And when you pick the unit for landeds, right? Orientation and the position within which row matters a lot So this is right in the front row You will have that amazing river and some landscape features Just by viewing out, right? You have these greeneries accompanying you, that's great And one more thing will be the extra car park space So if this is within the intermediate rows and you are against another row of houses, right? Car park spaces will be a very big debate among neighbours Then for interconnectivity between neighbours for visibility and security you use this timber fence for the walls in between And now you can see there will be a lot of stickers around of cracks and as we mentioned before this is normal and it's entirely up to you on how far you want to go with it because ultimately you pay for it it's your right and something i like is within this 22 feet is columnless that's nice so there won't be any in between structures that will restrict so you can perfectly park in your car i guess for the renovation a lot of people will just whack off this one extend it all the way that's something that i would definitely do then for intermediate units, the only light source for the house will be the front facade and the back facade. Hence, it's very important to look at the openings and this, they did it really nicely. Then all of them is openable, that's good. And right outside here, there will be a socket that is actually covered. Nice. Then there will be the location for the water filter. Just that the columns around is still rather thick. Lah. Okay, how I wish it could be thinner, which is entirely possible. Why don't they just make this thinner, right? To flush along with the wall thickness. Uh, yeah, that's something that I wish. Going in. You will have a step here. And how I wish this could be done in a ramp for more inclusivity or at least an apron to not have such an impact and the clearance for the door will be 1.1 meters very nice and it opens up into this amazing space here yeah? this is the open concept that the modern terrace houses have so the ceiling height here is 3.05 meters which is very very nice and the owner bought this unit 2 to 3 years ago for 740 thousand only net 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 la. after all the discounts and rebates or whatsoever and think about it i just bought an adjacent project way more expensive than the price also way smaller than this 
Typically for this little foyer here will be the prayer table or a sideboard for you to put your things and this will be the living space, dining space connecting into the back of the house. I really enjoy the ratio of this line. Divide the space of the kitchen versus the bedroom. So the bedroom of the kitchen is 3.2 meters. Very very spacious where you can perfectly have an L shape or even a U shape kitchen if you want to. And you have that 5 feet more house with plugs around. And you will have that simple basin here that almost 100% of the owners they definitely throw them away. But anyway, you look at this space, right? And it's done in a way where the beams are accommodating the outline of the space. So here you can even work a glass panel if you want to to isolate out the cooking. But just one thing I don't like here will be this column here. I know the span between columns is incredible. It's not the worst definitely because it's at the outline between spaces. But it could have been... Yeah. Then for the kitchen, you will have two panels of windows here separated by the yard space before going into your backyard. And because this developer has done this like a million times they really know the appetite and the preference of all buyers around this area so that allows them to create spaces like this now they have a clear demarcation of wet and dry kitchen but they just name it as yard nah. because this wall here could be easily dismantled well packed like, as we say and suddenly you have a humongous kitchen but now instead of putting a glass panel to isolate out the smell you have a dedicated wet kitchen here because the monkey already is so the entire thing is going to be yard space. And the width here is 2.1 meters, and this will be a very nice area for your wet kitchen. And that will be a breakfast counter and your dry kitchen area, right? I think if budget persists, this can be changed into a glass panel where it's like a sliding door thing. Whoa! That will be the shared bathroom for all, which is nicely placed at the side. But if any of the users here will extend the kitchen because there's still this line where it's your space. You can either choose to keep this or you want to extend this facade line all the way, further enhancing the space of your wet kitchen. Anyway, for the bathroom, they are providing Sorrento for the basin and WC. They have this little fixture here for you to put your shampoos and all. Shower, lighting point, window, full high wall house. Very nice. Then next to the bathroom, there will be another room here. It can be your storage space. And now we are at the external yard space where a lot of people will definitely think about the extension here. Because conventionally, most of us want areas within the house or big, big ones. And that's the beauty of individual title houses. You can basically do whatever you want. Of course, within the restriction of the local authority guidelines. And as we speak, you look at the neighbors, they just gotten their keys like two months ago. They are already whacking all. Wet. Oh, so when you come here in six months time, there won't be any emphasis on the overall facade concept or the philosophy behind or whatsoever because it doesn't matter. So in the first place, why put so much emphasis in the facade? But we cannot assume everybody will have the budget to straight away whack off everything. Ma. So if given the choice, right, would you extend the kitchen out? Because like to me, the internal spaces is very, very sufficient really. Like it's big, but nobody will actually complain your house too big on ma. Mm. Then if you choose not to extend all the way, you will just keep all this. But if you want to extend, there will be examples of such. And imagine this, right? So now both are end lots and both are extending all the way in. That means the distance between users already. And this will only affect the feeling when you walk around this backyard area. Okay? And another budget way of doing the extension will be just putting a metal roof over some lightweight structure ta da da gao team and for the kitchen space this will be the ground floor bedroom and this hidden nook here is designed for a study table you will have the window but this window is not connected to the external this is an internal window and the dimension for this bedroom will be 3.2 by 2.8 very spacious just that with kings like this and kings like that at the corner. Of course, it's best that it's not there, but if for structural, right, the ID needs to take note of all this stuff. Then right below the staircase, this will be a very weird king. 
Yeah. So personally, I'm a little bit more particular about this area. But anyway, right below the staircase, there will be the DV box and extra storage space if you need to. Then going upstairs, there will be timber laminated staircase and then you will have skirtings at the side too that's nice along with metal handrail and the width of the staircase is 1.1 meters so that's very comfortable looking upwards you will have this extreme height connecting to the window for extra ventilation so the termination of this line here is very nice where it's 2.4 meters it's not as daunting so some might argue that you can push this line a little bit more so you will have more space within the principal bedroom but the experience for the user up the staircase will be affected. Then going in this will be the family hall and the width here is 2.6 meters. Ceiling height is around 3 meters, very very comfortable and all floorings upstairs will be laminated timbers. They give a very different vibe compared to downstairs. And many may argue on the purpose of such a space, why not make my room speaker again right it's entirely up to you since it's an individual title house but this can be a very great work from home space because now most of us are working from home or you're a person who always have guests at home this can be a little private area for your family then coming right upstairs you can see the continuation of the skirting that's nice and you will have two bedrooms facing the back let's check this one out both bedrooms will have their own suite bathroom and for the bathroom, they have this connection over to the top for ventilation. And because of the extreme height, it's pretty senseless to do all the way in terms of tiling. So they terminate the town line there and you will have a pretty solid toilet all together. We will have Sorrento Basin and WC also by Sorrento. Then you have this nice counter here for you to put your stuff. And this will be another fixture which is nice along with your shower. And I really like that top window there. Actually, the spaces around the middle of a terrace house, right? Especially intermediate. It's gonna be really, really dark, but check this out. Like, this is without lighting. Uh. It's very hard to see toilet this bright without lighting. Nice. And this will be the bedroom. So the way from wall to wall is 3.2 meters and you will have timber flooring, timber skirting, one, two electrical points and you will have the windows facing the backyard. Here we can witness the extension already of the neighbors. Like then, once you extend here, right, the next debate will then be why not extend all the way also. So it's entirely up to you because it's your money and the time you need the house. Then next to that, you will have a bedroom that is almost identical on the other side, where it's perfectly for two kids. Uh. You will have the exact same treatments for your bathrooms as well, along with the bedroom. Window size, also the same. No need to fight. And a story that is pretty familiar around the market for properties that is being handed over around this period, right? This project was also delayed and they will have the letter from the government saying that because of the pandemic, the entire progression of the house will be delayed. And again, some buyers are not happy. Because the original intent for this house, for this particular owner was to stay in it. But after MCO, he realized the convenience of being very close to work. And now, after he get the keys, why am I going to stay in a location that I need to travel so far to Kota Daman Sara every single day when I don't really need it yet? And some of the conclusion of our discussion will be to temporarily rent this out first. Then when the family is expanding, having children already, then only consider of moving back in. Also, a point to note is to not expect a very high rental against your installment rate because that's not the game for landed properties. But the current listing price is already way higher than his purchase price. Indirectly, he's making some money already. Anyway, for the rooms, there will be light points and fan points. And all door frames are this color. Then going opposite, this will be the principal bedroom. So the wall to wall width here is 3.2 meters and it could have been bigger. We have further pushed this line over, right? But as we discussed before on the staircase, 
this outside. Because this will be a very awkward length. So here will be the position of your king size bed, then there will be room for bedside tables next to your humongous window panel. As if the windows are not enough, right? They even add a top profile to that. And this will be the view for the front row of the houses. Very, very nice. The next discussion then will be to convert the front car porch into a balcony. Lah. Because if not wasted, man, why not just build all? Yeah, so that's all up to preference. Like if you got money, do whatever you want. Lah. But just be mindful on the DLP, which is the defect liability period. Yes, within two years time, whatever around the unit, most of them will be managed by the developer. But once you do renovation, you gotta be really careful on the coverage really because after the renovation suddenly then it's leaking, right? Who causes the leak? Then that becomes the entire argument. Overall, the bedroom is very bright. Just that there's this king here, that this king here. This will be the walk-in wardrobe space going into your principal bathroom. So here you can see full height wall tiles. No shower screen, but you have a dedicated drop for the shower area. Huge window here that is frosted for privacy. Then I like this solid countertop along with the basin so now what's lacking is just a full-fledged mirror then similar treatment you will have Sorrento for WC and your basin along with the shower apparently for this unit there's some leakages already this is definitely part of the process of owning a new property then for the switches here it's pretty solid and I guess this one will be connected to the ground floor panel so I'm having this debate of locating this toilet over to the inner line and have the same treatment as the two bathrooms where you have the ventilation upstairs and you free up this entire facade line for the bedroom the entire 22 feet maybe that would be a better option than this it's really kind of a waste that I don't get to experience this brief at all hmm and now walking outside, you will see a few things. The street lamps are nice and there was this gentle slope into the house. So the house is actually higher than the roads and you will have the drainage system in between every two houses. So this will be the stormwater drain and there will be this patch of little landscape here. Technically belongs to the municipal but then this is the grey area like, because now if you can have the guard house outside which is going to be converted into an official guard house and this is how developers are playing around the guidelines right now so when handover they cannot build the guard house yet but after the neighborhood actually forms their own ra which is resident association and common areas like then then becomes very vague as well because these are to maintain by mpsa because this is still shah alam right and you have water bodies like that which is nice sitting across the benches Oof. and I must say these are very nice to have especially for an uh, individual title project you have colonial structures here right then the trees are amazing they are just so mature then you will have fixtures of such next to the river or rainwater drain whatever you call it these are really cool to have for new individual title houses because conventional ones you will have road as narrow as ever because everything is profit maximization land maximization build up maximization here you kind of have the in-between product between full gated and guarded stratified projects versus those conventional ones this then will be that sweet spot Then right at the end of the project, you will have this water body area. Well, now the water condition is not very pleasant. It looks muddy right now. I don't know whether it's because of the rain. This is going to be a great place for residents to jog around. If you like jogging, then there will be some deck that is overlooking to the lakes, which is great. And the best thing about this is you don't have to pay extra maintenance fees for this. Because now I think the developer is still working very closely with the local authorities to make sure all these are nicely maintained. And if you look around, the trees are all very mature. You will have a viewing deck at the end. There's somewhat like an island in the center. Just in case the jogging path in front of your house is not enough. Lah. <laughs> well, let's check out the commercial area now.
And now we are right outside the neighborhood, right next to this commercial area where McDonald's is. So I don't know whether is it good or bad for your families because your kid will always see McDonald's every day. <laughs> but anyway, there's this element of convenience around here where it's very close to all these commercial areas. You have the tuition centers, the clinics, the tire shops, the kopitiams, whatever you need is all around here. But the thing about living in the landed development is you will have that very close relationship with your car. So whenever you want to go out, confirm you must drive because the distance from your house to the shop is actually not walkable. When you go through all these hurdles and fences or whatsoever, it just doesn't make sense. But as we walk around here, you will see some fish bowl, then you can see sushi shops, you can see a lot of music academies, a lot of seafood restaurants. I guess that's the neighborhood requirement around this area. Plus, this side is also closer to the Sertia city side. So if we were to take the highway as the separation, this is on the Sertia city side, which makes it even more convenient. And I guess that's all for this episode. It's now time for Sean's take three on three. First of all, for the three things I like, number one would be the product in relation to the entire context of the address. This address is famous for having free whole landed terrace houses which is that nasi lemak property that i've mentioned again and again within the channel is proven again and again then the demand for such products are never going to end because of the earlier generations that bought it made money with it so it creates this very huge demand for such products so now as we speak there's a new launch of the latest phase that's going on within the sales gallery it's already going for a million wow this particular owner which bought it at 700 over thousand just got their keys so indirectly, if you want to compare it that way, they also made money already. And that's in conjunction to point number two, which is the reputation, also the records of this particular developer. Because of the land bank that they have, because of the team and philosophy that they have, they've been around this address for very, very long doing these kind of products again and again and again and again and again and again. And just imagine the gradual improvement across product is going to result in a house that has high relevance to the customers. And in this context, it's a double story terrace house, individual title, freehold, but done in a way where it's playing around like a stratified development where it's gated and guarded. So the only difference here will be the ownership of the common areas that is under the municipal in this sense. Then the guard house can only be built right after handover. And the formation of the resident association, not JMB, not MC, those are required to be registered. I think it will also be facilitated by the developer. At the same time, the residents also get to enjoy this freedom in customizing their own home. So as we went through, there's a lot of houses that are going through renovation already. And last of all, for this particular product, I like the kitchen area. So on top of the dry kitchen that's split into half sharing with the ground floor bedroom, right? They even have this extension in the back, which they call it the yard space. Actually, it's a space that is flexible for owners to convert into a wet kitchen. And if that's not enough, you can always extend further more into the back, right up to the boundary. Then going upstairs, I like the two ensuite bathrooms for the normal bedrooms. As they punch through the roof to introduce more ventilation and daylight into the toilet, that is awesome. Because conventionally, people will attach the bathroom into the facade line. So you will have a smaller window looking out from the bedroom. So this one, they flip it over so to maximize the facade line for each bedroom. So that's great. Then for this particular owner's unit, because it's fronting this river where the landscape is nice, you can just walk out and jog. And the view from the principal bedroom is nice. And that's why we realize when we pick units for landed properties, right? which row also becomes very important. On top of the intermediate and lot or corner lot, you need to see is it facing another house or is it facing another road because that extra space of car park is very, very important. You can park opposite, which is indirectly yours again. So your entire gate is actually open up. Then in the perspective of this particular owner, the things that I don't like will then be the debate of the relevance of the location. Because the entire intention of buying this, right, it was to have a freehold lender that is still relatively affordable. And this was a no-brainer, just that when they got the keys now, most of their work are still within KL and CBD areas. So if you are working around KL and if you need to travel every day, right, 
this location then does not really work for them. So the strategy now is to just rent it out first, and then maybe three to four years time, maybe a new job or maybe a new business or a new family members within the marriage. Then only there will be this need to get more space and then only they can move. The next will be certain architectural elements within the properties. I realized that the structural members are very thick and apparent within the unit. Of course, the spans of beams, I like it. You have this open layout from living to dining to the kitchen is very open. That's great. But you will have a kink of a column that is so thick. It's only two stories. So of course, there will be this debate on the cost of the shape of the beam. If I were to turn it into rectangular, right? It's going to cost more. So it's not going to be cost effective and all. Yeah, I understand. Then moving upstairs, the master bedroom does not have its charm like we did the same for the two bedrooms of shifting the toilets internally so you free up the facade line how i wish they did it for the principal bedroom instead the king from the stairways clearance along with the toilet right you have these two huge corners within the bedroom that is taking up a lot of space. So the space of the bedroom is actually very big, just that you don't feel it. And now I guess if budget is not a concern, right, they'll just extend to the front. So at least you will have a square for your bed space. If not, you will have a king here, you will have king there. That's sure. Ah. The last thing that I don't like, well, there's two things extra here, but both of them are debatable. One is a distance away from the commercial center. So some people like it, some people don't. Personally, I like it. But since you are staying in the landed property, right? Since you're going to drive anyway, another extra five to 10 minutes, right? Allows you to not be around commercial areas where it's going to be noisy, where it's going to be more pollution, more concentration of people. I want peace and quiet when I sleep at night. Because that will dictate the traffic around the main road that is right next to the bedroom also. Then the next one will be the strata versus individual title. I'm a fan of a strata development. That's why I invested in one because I don't like the fact that everybody gets to change the entire facade treatment. So as a developer, we engage consultants to really look into the design of the facade, trying to provide the best for customers. But once they get the keys, they whack off really. And when you come into a development, so you will still have that common treatment of a garden in the center to have that landscape treatment. But it's not going to be as intensive as a strata development. It's going to be like a level below that because these are not under your jurisdiction. You don't have to pay maintenance fees for them. Also because of all the extension works at the front also, at the back also, especially at the back. Now the back alley becomes a very negative space. On a strata development, emphasize the back alley to not make it a dark space. But you just imagine if the entire row of houses, all kitchen extend like that because it's only rational to do so. That back alley is gonna be so dark, you're gonna be so close from one house to another. Nobody is going to walk around the area Hence, it's going to be a negative space. It's going to be a space that nobody wants to touch. Then people just start throwing rubbish or whatsoever. Yeah. Then on the other side, my house, ma, I pay 700,000 for it. I want to do whatever I want. I like la. True. So it's entirely up to you. There's no right, to, no wrong to this. But just that I prefer all neighbors look the same. So when I drive home, it looks better. La. And I guess that's all for this episode. Shout out to the owner for inviting me to his new house. Well, it's his first house and he even shared a lot of stories. He's actually met around the purchase and now the house is completed already. We actually get to document and see his house also. Thank you very much. And do I like the product? These are the products that will never go wrong. Uh, seriously, this, you got extra money, right? Put here, you will never go wrong. And in terms of capital appreciation, it's very, very healthy. So if you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. Ciao.